John Snell, Nancy Parker, Daryl Green with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Bob Breck. You're watching Fox 8 News, your weather authority. It was one of the most popular gifts to give children this Christmas, but the injuries are mounting. Nationwide, thousands have been hurt or killed on motorized scooters in recent years, and local emergency rooms are still seeing new patients. Rob Masson has more on what many see as a dangerous hobby. Nancy Harahan is considering an outright ban. Police across the metro area say they have issued dozens of warnings for illegal operation. But while nearly a dozen local children have been hurt on motorized scooters, many parents insist they are safe. It's a Christmas gift with almost all the trimmings. It has a horn, headlights, blinkers. 11-year-old Daniel Dennis just got his new electric scooter, as did most of the kids in his Kenner neighborhood. I'm over there and down there, over there. Daniel rides it every day under his mother's watchful eyes. If you decide to let your child do that without your supervision, then something can happen. You know, we're, we supervise him very well. Seems illegal scooters are everywhere. This teenager was injured on Bank Street just yesterday. In fact, local emergency rooms say nearly a dozen people have been hurt during the last 10 days, and that has police on the prowl. Um, if it's something we can address by, by issuing a warning, we'll do that. But while police play cat and mouse with juvenile offenders, Harahan considers the next step, an outright ban. Children under the age of 15 years of age are not qualified to drive a motor vehicle apparatus on the street. The problem is tens of thousands of the scooters have been sold nationwide for as little as $200, and not many are being operated with parental supervision. What I am doing right now is technically illegal, but parents say it's no more dangerous than riding a bicycle. And if they're out here watching their children, what's the harm? Technically, pedal-powered bicycles aren't legal on sidewalks either. But police worry about the scooters because on sidewalks, they have just enough horsepower to be dangerous, while on the road, they're not powerful enough to get away from danger. The stores are still selling them, but you're not allowed to ride them in Kenner. Local police say they have been issuing more warnings than citations. Fines can reach up to $200. If it's something that has to, where, where the, uh, you know, the parent or the, uh, or the child, depending on the age, has to be cited, then, then, then certainly we'll do that. Uh, you know, our biggest concern here is the safety issue. While many fear the worst, others try and reach a balance. You know, we do what we can for our children to have fun. This week, the Harahan Council deferred action on an outright ban of motorized scooters. They are now investigating what other cities have done and plan to take the matter back up after the first of the year. Nancy. All right, Rob. Fisher Price is recalling thousands of electric scooters and mini bikes because they can start up even if they're turned off. Two models are affected by the recall, the Lightning PAC scooter and the MX-3 mini bike. Fisher Price has gotten 56 reports of injuries caused by the toys, including one child who broke an arm. Call Fisher Price at 1-800-528-7153 to learn how to correct the problem. How would you like to start the new year with $210 million in your pocket? That's what could happen if you win tonight's Powerball jackpot. But wait till you find out the odds of you actually winning. That's coming up.